everyone and welcome to this first tutorial on Smart Vision 2. Um, the aim of this video is to present you this unique and exclusive device and provide you with the first steps on how to use it. We'll see together the content of the box, the product details and startup. So the Smart Vision 2 by Capsis comes in two versions, the Smart Vision 2 and the Smart Vision 2 Premium. The difference between these two versions is uniquely based on their applications. Smart Vision 2 Premium offers three additional embedded applications. The Captain GPS, a pedestrian and car GPS navigator for the blind and visually impaired with online downloadable maps and offline navigation. The second exclusive application is the audiobook which allows you to read and create ebooks in DAISY format and also to read documents in EPUB, Word, PDF, text or HTML format. Um, for example, this is particularly useful to read attachment in emails. And the third exclusive application is the OCR. It allows you to take picture of a document, make an optical character recognition and vocalize its content. Um, those three applications will also be available on the Smart Vision 2, but for a limited free trial version of 15 days. After 15 days, the applications are deactivated and you can purchase them, of course, either Spax or individually at your preferred retailer. Um, we will start the, with the content of the box. So, as the Smart Vision 2 and the Smart Vision 2 Premium boxes contain the same elements, we will open the Smart Vision 2 Premium box. So, slide the sleeve to the side and then you will have the content of the box. First, you will find the quick starting guide explaining the basics. Then, you have the foam. We will come back to it a little later. And then, you have the accessory box. So, the accessories box contain various elements. First, you have a small protective case in silicone to prevent breakage. Um, then, you have the battery. Um, it's useful, you know, to turn the phone on and off uh, and charge it. Um, it is an external removable battery, we will put it into the phone a little later. Um, then you have a little necklace which allows you to hang the phone and not just drop it, it hangs down the product. You also have a pair of earphones to listen to the radio, music or music in public transportation for example. You have uh, three NFC tags which are mainly used to do object recognition via the NFC application. And then you have uh, the main charger in two parts, a wall charger and a USB-C type cable. The particularity of the USB cable is that there is no right or wrong side to insert in the cable in the phone. Um, it will work either way and facilitate its loading. So. Now let's focus on the phone. To open the phone and put the battery, the SIM card and possibly the SD card, um, we will remove the back cover of the phone. To remove the back cover of the phone, it's quite simple. Just turn the phone around and find a small notch located at the bottom left corner. Put your nail between the black belt and the back cover and slide it up all around to unclip the different pins. The back cover is now removed and you can now insert the SIM and then the SD card. So, um, just above the battery in the middle, you will find a push button. This is the SOS button. On the right of this button, here are the SIM and SD connectors. They are one above the other. First, there is the SIM connector and above the SD connector. Um, the SIM card is a nano format. This is the smallest of the SIM card formats. The SIM card is beveled on the corner. Um, so you must put the bevel corner at the top left. You have a small drawer, um, so just slide the SIM card into the drawer. 
put it all the way to the end without forcing and it's in place. Um, don't hesitate to get help from a sighted person if you have difficulties to inserting it. Above is the micro SD connector where you can insert an extra memory card if need be. By default Smart Vision 2 offers 16GB memory, but should you want to expand the memory, you can add an SD card up to 64GB. This is particularly useful to increase the multimedia content, of for example music, audiobooks, etc. Um, so I have one, I will put it in the phone. I just put it above the SIM card and in the same way I slide it in the corner. And that's it. So then we will put the battery. Um, to do it, simply remove the battery from the small cardboard bag. In the back of the phone, the battery slot, you can feel three small springs on the top left corner. On the battery, on the left side of the top edge, you will also find three small embossed square metal pieces. Starting with the top part, simply insert the battery into the battery slot so the spring and the metal square are connected. You can't go wrong, just don't force and gently put it in. When the four corners are clipped inside, it means that the battery is well positioned. So now the product is operational. Um, before starting the Smart Vision 2 and see the startup tutorial on the first configuration of the product, we'll see together how the Smart Vision 2 is built. So, um, I will clip my back cover. In front of the phone, you have a large touch screen. The blind people will be able to explore by touch and the vision impaired will view the contents of the phone as the touchscreen supports large display and text enlargement features. This phone can of course will be used by a sighted. We will come back to this in an upcoming video on how to use the product. Below the touchscreen you have an alphanumeric keyboard. And this is the specificity of the Smart Vision 2. This is an Android 6 smartphone that works with a real physical keyboard. This physical keyboard is composed of two parts. You have at the bottom an alphanumeric pad with a standard keyboard including the key including sorry the keys 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 star 0 and the pound key to dial phone numbers and type text. A little embossed dot is present of the five to position your fingers. Um, on top of the alphanumeric pad there is the navigation pad, the preferred smart vision to functionality of our users. This navigation pad is composed as follows. In the middle you have a square. This is the central joystick that allows you to navigate the phone. Each corner simulates a move with the up, down, left and right arrows. This is how you navigate the phone, vocalize the text and move the cursor to launch the phone features. In the middle of this joystick you have the OK button, which validates the selected items and serves as a confirmation key. At the left end and the right end sides of the navigation pad you have dedicated keys to pick up and hang up call. Um, the pick up keys is located at the far left and has three small green vertical embossed dots. To hang up or release key is at the far right. Um, the key has three small red horizontal embossed dots. So both keys are very easy to identify with your fingers. Between the central joystick and the pick up and hang up keys you have four Android keys two on the left and two on the right of the central joystick. The couple of keys on each side is separated by an embossed horizontal bar. So, let's start with the keys on the left of the joystick. On the top of the horizontal separation, you have the home screen key, symbolized by a circle. This key allows you to return to the first page of the Smart Vision 2, so on the main page. Below the separation bar, you have the menu key, symbolized by a square. This button allows you to have relative options and settings to the opened application or the displayed window. 
On the right of the joystick, above the separation bar, you will have the written button symbolized by a triangle, um, which allows you to go back one screen. Imagine, for example, that you went very deep into the Smart Vision 2 tree. Rather than going back to the home screen and going down very deep in the tree, if you want just to go back one screen, just press once on the return key. And below, there is, below the separation bar, there is the delete key, symbolized by a cross, which allows you to delete the last entry in the modification area. So, uh, with this little navigation pad, you will be able to completely control your phone and move, validate and go back. Um, we will now look at the upper part of the product. Um, on the top, you will only find one button at the far right, which is the on-off button. Um, just with a short press, the phone can be put on standby or operational mode. With a long press, you can shut the phone off totally and turn it on again with another long press. On the right of the product, you have three buttons. The first button on the top is the first common button using the OK Google function. It allows you to search on the internet, to dict dictate text uh, in input field, um, send SMS and emails, and launch some features on the Smart Vision 2. Um, everything about it will be described in the next video. Um, underneath, there are uh, the two volume buttons, which uh, will allow you to increase or decrease the sound of the voice synthesis or the sound of the Smart Vision 2. On the left edge um, of the Smart Vision 2, we choose not to put any button for an easier grip when you hold the phone with one hand. Um, on the lower part of the Smart Vision 2, all connectors are there. Going from left to right, you have first the microphone, allowing you to record your voice. It's used for the dictaphone, audio conversation, or voice commands. Then, you have the Dot 5 audio jack, allowing you to connect the provided earphone. After is the main speaker, to hear the sound coming from the product and the sound of the voice synthesis. Then, there is a small hole to put the provided neck strap, and last, this is the USB connector C type, which allows you to insert the cable either way you choose to charge the phone. On the back of the phone, on the top, there is the camera, which will allow you to make photos or videos and use the magnifier and OCR applications. On the left and the right, you have two LEDs allowing you to lighten the elements you are aiming for to have a greater contrast. And below the camera, um, there is the SOS button. The SOS button is not programmed by default, but after quick setup, you just need to press uh, for a few seconds to activate the SOS application. Um, this is essential, you know, in case of emergency. It allows you to register up to 10 contacts to send them cascading calls and geolocalized SMS. So now we are done with the first description of the different keys. Let's now start with the product to see what happens the first time you turn it on. It's very simple. Um, just press the button on the top right of the upper part of the Smart Vision 2, 3 seconds to turn the phone on. You will feel a little vibration when the phone starts. So there is the loading capsule screen and after a few seconds a little tutorial will ask you um, two things so first we have to select the language we want choisir la langue select language sprache auswählen Seleccione la lingua. Seleccione l'idioma. Funzione l'idioma. Selectati limba. Selectir tal. Velspro. Velkspok. Velisprok. Svol jazik. Svolte jazik. Vegesh jazik. Alice kieli. Dilsechi. Bahar shifa. 
So to reach the English, I will press the down arrow several times. Choisir la langue, English. English, okay, so I validate it. Please confirm language. Um, a confirmation window appears. If you select yes, the English language will be set on the Smart Vision 2. If, if you select no, you will go back and be able to select another language. So yes. I'll do yes. Do you want to activate CAPSI's accessibility services? This is the second step, and the choice of CAPSI's accessibility service. It will set up the phone to be adapted for the blind and visually impaired. Um, in our case, we will always enable CAPSI's accessibility to avoid entering all the parameters and to change everything by end, parameter by parameter. So, okay. I will press OK button and confirm with central navigation Talk back key. On. Blind. Set default parameters for blind and visually impaired and enable screen vocalization. And now the phone is giving you the choice between a blind mode or a low vision mode. The main difference between these two modes is the voice synthesis. In the low vision mode, you will not have a voice feedback of the selected elements. That is to say that um, you will not have voice synthesis and no voice feedback of selected item. For this tutorial, we will select a blind to have the voice synthesis all the time. So, I use down select arrow. Config. Blind. Set default parameters for blind and visually impaired and enable screen vocalization. I select the blind profile. CAPSI's accessibility settings read from config blind dat. And I confirm my Facts. choice. The configuration OK button. With the OK button. I will now enter the pin code. So in my case this is 1, 2, 3, 4. One, two, three, four. And I press the OK button. Alert unlock home screen. Voice <laughs> And that's it, you are on the home screen of the Smart Vision 2, which is the main page of the product. Made up as follows by default, you have at first the time and date of the day, then you have applications providing you with the list of all the features of the phone, um, then you have the contacts application, which is your phone book, the contacts you have on your SIM card or an internet account for example, um, then you have the phone application, which allows you to make phone calls or call back people who have left you messages, for example. And to finish, you have the messages application to send text messages or multimedia messages. This home screen is fully customizable and, of course, will be the subject of the next video on how, on how to use um, the home screen. Um, another last thing good to know is that the Smart Vision 2 user manual has been integrated into the device. To access it, you just need to be on the home screen, so... Device unlocked. It wasn't still there. 952, battery level, 81% remaining. You just have to press the menu key, you know, this is the, the key with a little square. Menu home screen. And with the down arrow, homes, settings, add an add a widget, wallpapers. You go to help. help and press the OK button to validate your choice. Help. Um, by the way, you require an internet connection to access it the first time. After that, the user manual will be automatically saved in the device, and no internet connection will be needed anymore. Um, for your information, this user manual is also on our website at uh, www.capsi.com um, when you click on the Smart Vision 2 product and select the support selection. Um, so, I shut up Screen the off. phone. Um, this is the end of this first tutorial. Thank you for watching and I hope uh, you enjoyed this uh, little tutorial. Please feel free to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye!